Hi, thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act Two. This is our weekly, I guess it's a blog, isn't it, Art? Anyway, it's where we talk about stuff and save the world and two old guys pass along our wisdom to you, you lucky people. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is this is an endorphin uh, uh, <laughs> thing. So everybody it should is. feel better. So speaking of uh, feeling better, I went uh, to my uh, dermatologist who I do every four months. And uh, uh, normally it's scrape and burn. Uh, a little bit of nitrogen here, a little cut there, so on and so forth. But it keeps me free of skin cancer, so I'm real happy where it catches yeah. stuff in advance. And on my way out, I've been going to the same uh, dermatologist for over 10 years, and I'm friends with all the staff. And uh, so one of the one of the key people there on my way out, uh, her name is Vicky, said, oh, by the way, uh, I guess I won't see you for a while. Oh, we were talking about the fact she was going on a, a cruise. And she said, I won't see you for a while because I'm not back till February. So she says, uh, happy holidays. And I said, you know, I looked at a stranger. She says, you know, happy Halloween today. And Thanksgiving's coming up and Christmas and New Year's. Yeah. So I thought that was kind of nice of her to sort of cover the whole thing. But uh, today's Halloween, isn't it? It is. Happy Halloween. Hmm. Today, I, I don't think I've heard people wish happy holidays this early in the season. It's usually right. in, in in early December. They say happy holidays. Oh, cover although, everything although, for... although our town is already putting up the lights. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, but you know, it's kind of something is... interesting, John. Both you and I, you live in a, a rural area, and I live in a... Uh, uh, an over 50 community, and yeah. we don't have much to do with Halloween anymore. Uh, there's no banging on the doors. Every so often you'll see a jack-o'-lantern or something or, yeah. uh, on a doorway, but there's no trick-or-treating because uh, it's a gated community. So uh, uh, that really hasn't been, Halloween has not really been a thing that we've paid much attention to uh, yeah. over the last couple of years. It, what you know, you're right, and I think this is pretty common for older folks. Um, unless you're in a neighborhood with a lot of kids or you live with your grandkids or something right. like that, you really don't have uh, the pressure to, quote, celebrate Halloween, you know, put up the decorations and right. maybe even a, a silly mask or some face paint and get candy for the kids who are coming to the door. Because in our case, both of our cases, there are no kids coming to the door. Right. You know? So I, I, wonder, um, I wonder how many people quote, celebrate ha Halloween anymore. Yeah, or even if they still live in their original communities, uh, they turn the lights off and uh, they don't put anything out because they don't want to be bothered. <laughs> and they're probably they not worthy of even being TP'd anymore because they yeah. don't have any kids in the house. So, yeah. uh, Well, I, I, I'm sure you can always do that, but I think if you're in a neighborhood where you have kids and you know they're going to come to the door, right. you really ought to have candy, celebrate, participate in the sure. in the uh, holiday and uh, have fun with the kids. I lived growing up in uh, New Rochelle, New York. We lived in a pretty large apartment complex and way in the back in another building lived Bob Smith. Howdy doody, Bob Smith. Oh. Of, uh, howdy doody time. Yeah. And the kids would all go around and you'd end up at Bob Smith's apartment. He always had friends with him. Hmm. And they he always invited the kids in. What are you dressed as? And what are you supposed to be? And then you'd, you know, put your hand in the candy bowl and go on. It was it was very, very nice. And I don't think anybody recognized him as Buffalo Bob. But we knew, because he lived nearby, we knew who he was. And then the, the next one, the, down the hall from Buffalo Bob, was a dentist. <laughs> and every year he gave out toothbrushes. <laughs> You'd ring his doorbell. You'd get everybody got a new toothbrush. So right. whoever you are, wherever you come from, I think it's fun for adults to maybe relive a little bit of the past and enjoy Halloween. Give the kids some gifts and stuff. Yes, and and we'll be we'll uh, because we know that some of you are a little forgetful. Uh, what is that called? The, the open door, the doorway syndrome. You forget what you're talking yeah. about by the time you walk through the door. Is that we'll keep reminding you of the holidays uh, as they come up. But uh, it, to me, it was just startling uh, that uh, because, you know, 
I only see them every four months that she would come up with that, which was really kind of nice. But anyway, otherwise, I wouldn't have had a clue today was Halloween. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And that's why I think we all need to keep mindful and celebrate. It's good for us. For more yeah. on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.